Uh, and pretend like we're not do a quick anything. chat <laughs> chat hello everybody we've got some people joining in here so we're gonna let a few more people matriculate in as we uh hello we're gonna let a few Hi. more people afternoon matriculate in as we get started and uh kind of get into the introduction for all this danielle if you want to start us off and Absolutely. give the wave into the middle of the i don't wrong. remember which hand yeah, it one. is okay um <laughs> well good afternoon everyone this is brought to you by the broker league we are going to do a live little um video for you on the service portal my name is danielle i am an ace i am an agent care extraordinaire i have a thing for disney and mary poppins hence the name and then this is Ren, our wonderful, lovely tech group guru, mm -hmm. who's a guru today, yeah. um, <laughs> who helps me in all things technology. Mm -hmm. So we are definitely going to go ahead and jump right into this. Yeah, a uh, little background about myself. I'm also a licensed realtor. I uh, have been selling real estate for, what's it been, 30, 40 years at this point? <laughs> or six, right off the bat. Or just... five, yeah. I can't remember at this point. That's how long I've been doing it. But I'm uh, really excited to kind of jump into some of these services, show how I uh, utilize this service every day to benefit not just my business, but my life in general. Uh, as Danielle mentioned, this is brought to you by the Broker Perfect. League. We have uh, got a lot of exciting new services happening now on the way in the pipeline. So stay tuned, get excited because there's a lot to learn. So this specific webinar we're going to do a series of these as we progress and introduce more services is over the service portal this one here no wrong way that way left to right <laughs> right to we'll figure it out eventually eventually we're going to figure it out um and it is kind of your single sign-on solution so it is an object uh, a service that is going to aggregate all of the apps that you use regularly any services that you use online put them all in one spot and then keep your information and credentials for you so that all you need to do is remember the one uh, password to log into this portal and you are in. It's essentially the Roku of real estate. It so is. you somewhere you would go to get those things done. When you think Roku, you jump on and you get in and you're ready to be entertained. And when you think the Broker League service portal, you can do the same things there. You can even get into a Roku app if that's something that interests you. It's something with any service you use online, you're gonna be able to find it here. And it's gonna look kind of like this background for us where you've got your different chiclets. I know that's Daniel's favorite. That's my favorite word, especially after term. Easter. <laughs> and yeah, those are the applications <laughs> themselves. And that is where you'll go. And it, it's going to have, if it's something that you sign on to, it's going to have your credentials saved for you in real time so that you can log straight in. Once you're into your service, what either here or with the mobile response, you can log in and go. It's going to remember everything for you. As long as you can get into your service portal, you can get onto any of your services anywhere in real time. So it helps keep you organized. And Definitely. let's face it, in today's world, Anything to help me be organized, even in family with kids, putting down anything. I am all for it. Absolutely. And I know that there are a lot of things on here that uh, people use specifically for their family uh, when they're not using this for their real estate uh, business. So that's good. We are going to jump into some common uses uh, for this service. But first, I want to say if there's somebody that you use regularly in the real estate industry that uh, whether it's a vendor or a lender or somebody title. named Edgar, wait, no, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't work like that. Uh, and title company, yes. Anybody with an app or a service online that they use and really would like to get more users on, we are happy to talk with them with you on your referral to get them into our service portal so that more users can benefit from that service. So if there's somebody that you know, jot it down, reminder for yourself, and uh, you can email us at info at the broker yeah. and let us know your recommendation. We will tie that to you whenever they join up. And uh, we really appreciate it. So again, that's info at thebrokerleague.com for any referrals that you have for vendors or, or questions at all. Yeah. It goes to the team, not just to one of us. So absolutely, somebody's going to see that request and they're going to get they're going to get you some help, or take that referral in and uh, be very gracious about it. So 
<laughs> Before we jump into um, anything else, we want to talk about some common uses for this and just kind of based off of some of these in the back that you can see. So I know Facebook, I don't know if anybody, does anybody use that service over there? No, of course not. A couple That's billion features? people that use that or... So there's a, that fine line between professional and work, personal. work life and then that personal life where you've got some that you're using for multiple things, whether it's your Facebook for your business page. Uh, we've also, we're working on adding the uh, Facebook page, I have a page in the heart. Portal so that you can, you don't have to worry about getting onto Facebook yeah. and getting distracted with your personal stuff that always go. That's what happens every time I get on there to be productive. I end up just looking at pictures of cats for about 45 dogs. minutes and yeah, I do dogs. I'm a dog person. So it, it can happen <laughs> just that quickly where you're in that productive mindset and then something derails you. So when you've got something like the service portal to keep you organized and keep those uh, productive apps opening and firing off, it can help you tremendously. Um, I want to go ahead and jump right into how you would activate your account. Mm -hmm. If you were to get a new a new account today, let's say you know, this webinar goes perfectly. You are super excited to get your service started. How do I start? Email us at info at the broker league and we can get you that information and then we will dive into and share my screen from this other Perfect. computer here Maybe. and it will allow us to go through this slideshow that I've prepared for us. Mm -hmm. So we can see here, this is what the welcome and activation email will look like. It's going to come from info at the broker You can see up in the top left corner there. Um, and then it's going to say, welcome to your service. Well, if you scroll like that, it changes the bit. <laughs> Changes a bunch. Don't don't do that. This is a slideshow, not an actual web page. That's going to be a critical reminder for myself. So it's going to have your name. Hi, you. This is your organization. We're using this to manage your web applications, which is a fancy way of saying websites you go to or services you use online. Um, there's going to be that green activate broker lead account button. Uh, it expires in 90 days. I actually have had uh, some users that say that they've had it expire before that time period. So if you've gotten it and it, it's not working, just reach out to us, info at thebrokerleague.com. We'll get you a new one sent out and they'll reset that clock. So as soon as it as soon as it arrives, somebody that receives the email will let me know what to do. No, <laughs> assuredly. Um, so as soon as you get it, it's best if you can just get your account activated and jump right in. If for whatever reason you receive it, you're not quite ready to go. It's not an issue. We can send you another one. It doesn't freeze your account or anything like that. It will have your username. You'll notice that's an email address. It's always going to be an email address, whether that's your professional one. This is one of my personal ones that I was using as an example. And then it says your organization, organization's sign-in page is blportals.com. You can go to that website from any computer on the planet. And as long as you're on that website and use your sign-in credentials, it's going to give you access to your list of chiclets and those applications that you're using frequently, regardless of where you are. We'll move on with the slide. Yeah. Oh, the slide. there's one the slide. That's right. Don't <laughs> scroll. It's not a web page. There will be underneath where it says uh, your organization sign-on page, there will be a link to a video that we created that runs through this slide to give you a brief overview of how to create your account really quickly, nice and easy as a bit of a refresher if you go here. So we've got that. Right, now I do need to scroll down. <laughs> the arrow time. was not working uh, so fast. Oh, gosh. So, so, so too much. So I'm not a technology person. I love Generally. using it, but no, this is why I have Ren here. So, um. so that you can put the blame on me when the page is good by two things. So once you click that green button there, it's going to say account activation page with your password creation. This is where you'll arrive to create that new account. The username is that one that was in that email. You're going to choose your password here. You're going to choose a forgot your password question. There's a ton of them, and I, I really like the the funny different ways that they ask this one. What food did you least like as a child? I went rutabaga. No, we've already discussed it's broccoli. Oh, broccoli. That's right. I'm... Every time you change it, <laughs> like the first time we did it, we said broccoli and you're like, yeah, me too. And now it's no, yeah. never again. Okay. It's never going to be like that. I don't think I knew what a rutabaga was as a child. There's also on this right side here, a picture to choose a security image. So all when I log in in a bit, You'll see once I put my username in, there's a little profile circle. 
and that's going to pop up with a security image. And if you put your username in and that doesn't pop up, there's some sort of issue. I would suggest reaching out to info at thebrokerleague.com to figure out what's going on. Do I need to reset my password or should I just progress? If you're logging on to a, for a new on with a new browser for the first time, there is a chance your security image won't pop up because they want to make sure that there's not going to be any compromising of your password. But once you put in the username and password, you're in and you're good to go. And then there's that little button here at the bottom that says create my account. And oh. once you do that, I would really like for these arrows to work so that they don't uh, <laughs> gently. You'll arrive here at your home page. So after you've activated your account, it's going to log you in immediately. This is an idea of what it's going to look like. We've added a few new apps since then, reorganized them. But you'll see at the top, that bar says launch apps more quickly from any page with the Octa plugin. And they run our response through your browser and our mobile response. So there is a, later on, we're going to talk about the mobile app that you'll need to download in order to have your mobile response for your service portal. You'll just click on that install button and whichever browser you're in, whether it's Chrome, Firefox, Safari, any of them. Ah, I was really hoping you'd get a fourth <laughs> one. Um, it Is will it, it will take you Microsoft Edge. Oh, that's right. Opera, Mailnet, <laughs> Freescape. That one doesn't exist. That Wait, one, I made that they're one. all the same. You click yes. They are all the same. <laughs> Regardless of which one you're on, when you click it, it's going to have this, it's going to take you to the page where you can download the extension. In this case, the Chrome Web Store takes you here and it's one button install. Regardless of where you arrive, it's going to be add, either add to Chrome, so gently scroll. Firefox is there briefly for, for a moment. So once you click that in that banner, install the plugin, it's going to take you here for Firefox. Or if you are using Microsoft Edge, you're going to scroll right past that. Somewhere. And just that Git button or install or add to Chrome, and it's going to add it for you. And then you can go back to your service portal homepage, and it will this is when you go to blportals.com, this is what that login page will look like. Uh, and this was my first time signing in from this browser. So it's got that profile circle with the question mark to ensure, are you sure this is you? Yeah. You want to log in here? Yes. And then every time you come in from that browser preceding that, you'll get uh, your security image. And I'll show you that when we log in in just a moment. So gentle. <laughs> I don't know why the arrows aren't working, but it does make it for a lot more excitement. New dashboard. There it is. End of slideshow. You now know everything <laughs> there is to know about the portal. Really it never know. fails. Tuesdays are like Monday, so bear with us. We are going to go ahead and show you what, when you log in, what that looks like um, with all of the pre-downloaded chicklets. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got 18. There's more now. Oh, We're over 20, 20. now. Oh, okay. So That's there's... Good more than 20 they are all geared towards those real estate professionals um what we feel most either agents or someone in the industry that would use on a regular day-to-day -day basis so absolutely so once you've installed that plugin it's going to take you to this new dashboard also if you just click the mouse and it goes forward one, so you don't have to scroll like that at all i did learn that if you want to go in and add like Danielle mentioned, we've got over 20 apps preloaded, stuff that you're going to use right out of the box. If there are things that we haven't added already that you use frequently, you can see on the side of the page here, there's this add apps button. The blue arrow does not exist within it. That's just part of this slideshow. Uh, and you can go here and add applications and search through it's something like over 7,000 applications that are already loaded in to our service. They just need you to add them. And it's a really strenuous process. We're going to go over that later. It's so difficult, <laughs> but we'll be able, I, I, I'm very confident that you'll all be able to figure it out. But so they're not just real estate related. They are not just real estate related and they are filtered based on what they accomplish. So they could be anything and it doesn't have to be, we've mentioned the personal aspect of this. It doesn't have to be something that you're using in your professional life. I've got a uh, Netflix on mine that I can just log straight into and chess. It's got my, and chess.com. <laughs> Very important to have that one in case people, you know, come from my ELO. Yeah, there you go. So I mentioned earlier our mobile response that's offered through uh, OctaMobile. If you're on iOS or the Google Play Store, you can just search that. 
Okay, TA mobile. The uh, picture will look like this. You can download that and it's going to ask you when you're logging in, it's gonna ask you for your site name, your username and your password. Your site name is just broker league. One word, you're in. Your username is your username, your password is your password. And that is gonna give you access to all of those apps that you've got loaded onto your uh, portal service portal homepage here via your mobile phone as well. So your single sign-on solution provided by the broker league, the service portal. I don't know if you remember that picture. It's from, it used to be back here, but now we're on the water. So that's real nice. <laughs> no. No. I don't know if everyone understands your sense of humor. No, very few people do. I'm, uh, I'm what's, what's described as unpleasant to be around. So He's quickness. our tech guy, so obviously he has a different persona. Yeah, people don't, don't uh, people don't hang out with me very often. I usually get sent to my tech den, and then it's not true. I just talk to the trolls on the internet. <laughs> so this is the live look. I'm now logged into the service portal. Service portal here, and this is my personal portal. So there are a few things that are added that aren't part of the baseline applications that are on there. Um, at any point, you can have more apps than me, fewer apps than me, section them off however you like, add your apps. If it's an app that you've added yourself, you can then go back and delete it if it turns out you're not using it as often as you like. We're just going to run through some uh, a demonstration of this really quickly. I don't want to tell you, you use it exactly like this, this, and this, and that's how, it, how it's done. This is your expression, your single sign-on. So whatever you do to do your business to the best of your ability, this is going to facilitate that. This is going to make it a little easier. Uh, if there are things that I do that you're never going to do, you don't have to use it for that. This is just a demonstration of how the actual application works. So when I've arrived just here. To keep you organized. Absolutely. Make and things easier to find. Definitely avoid that uh, app hangover that you get. And you're like, oh, what was that one that I was using that I love and that I can't remember now? Or even worse than that, you get to the app, you remember it, you know how much you love it, but you can't remember your password. Exactly. <laughs> or your username. I can't tell you how many times I've gone and used all my different passwords, and none of them work. And it's like, oh, it's your Gmail. I mean, yeah, I'm using, <laughs> I'm using the wrong email address. Of course, how did I not know that? Once you set these apps up to fire off that first time, they're good to go in perpetuity. So you Perfect. are ready to go. I, I noticed over here, it's got a list of my apps, my homepage, and then these are the sections that I've added to uh, to section off my apps to give me a better flow and an idea of what I can use. So they appear here on the actual service portal and on the side here, so you can just jump to those specific apps. And if you're like me, I can tell I've had access to this for a little over a month, maybe two months, and I've already... <laughs> I've got nearly 50 apps, and I know that by the time I've used this for a year, I'm going to have nearly 200. I can just tell. So adding these. You can these... customize it completely your own way. Absolutely. Whatever you want. Like he said, I think you can delete, mm -hmm. you can add, you can take away, organize it the way that is going to fit you and not only your business life, but your personal life. And you can add sections here on the left so that you can determine. I, I don't know if you saw while I was. I've got work and personal sections. I've got an entertainment section that I know is if I need to, you know, I've got something coming up, home inspection, I've got one of the kiddos, throw the entertainment on, get the get to the YouTube, get the kids learning something fun, like how to braid hair or whatever it is that's on YouTube nowadays. Um, so you can add uh, a section. Yeah, but it's also got things like OREC on there um, and your local MLSs which definitely we all know if you're a real estate agent or even a professional, you're going to be in those quite a bit. Um, and then OREC is nice. Do you want to click on that one? Yeah, Ready? I'll open up an app real quick. Let me just get through this uh, left section here. Uh, you know, the add apps button is going to take you to that big catalog of over 7,000 applications that are already preloaded. 
and you can go in and filter as you like. I need a new CRM, which ones are available already loaded in, or uh, I need some uh, information about financing and account and accounting apps, which ones might be best for me. You can go in, learn about them. And then if you need to, you just easily click this add button and one just pops right in. You've also got notifications here. Uh, anytime anything new was assigned to your app, uh, to your service portal, you'll get a uh, notification to let you know to be on the lookout for it. Or if you arrive and it's like, whoa, something's different, I like to keep my app symmetrical in a perfect box. So if I get there and there's one down to the side, I'm going to say something's different, but I'll have those notifications to be able to see uh, what we need to do. So if we, oh, that's my apps personally. Do we have AIM on there? I think it's A-I-M. They do, yes. So if you're doing instant messaging, <laughs> you got it. Hey, you're uh, you're trying to talk to some, one of your best friends from uh, 2002, you just go here and you, you can download the AIM uh, application. It's preloaded, ready to go. You click that add button and it, it's in there. And we go back to my apps here, the home page. Go down a little bit. Oh, look at that attitude. So you remember earlier I mentioned how grueling and strenuous the process of adding a new app to your homepage is. I think with a bit of practice, we'll all be able to work through that. So you don't have to be a tech guy. You don't have to be a tech guy. It does help because you get an awesome beard like this, <laughs> but it is not necessary by any stretch of the imagination. So we've also got here, you can see when you pull up, if you're editing, Let's hop into an app real quick before I get too in the weeds about I mean, your local MLSs. Obviously, mm -hmm. you have access to those. We've got something like the, this is what will happen when you are clicking on one of those apps. Oh, I'm just going to ask me a security question. It says, hey, I noticed you're logging in. Let's get you good to go. That's the two-factor authentication. So um, when we're using SWA authentication, secure web uh, uh, authentication to log you into these uh, sites, it's going to use your username and password that you give it so that it can remember that and then it'll log you in. If you're on a site like OREC, for example, where they require you to authenticate yourself after you do uh, log in, you'll get a pop up question and answer your security question quick and easy. There's, um, if you are using something like this application, which is a SAML, S A M L uh, provisioning federalization, it isn't ever going to ask you your security question because it knows for a fact that you're the person that you say you are. There's no dispute in that because of the way that the credentials are entered into the system. It's like a VIP pass. The SWA is like a backstage pass. You can get in as long as you can prove you're supposed to have it. But the SAML is like you're, that's like walking in and being somebody that's with the band. They know exactly where you need to go, what you need to get, and you're in there. So you notice that when I logged into this site, it didn't even pull up anything about oh loading in your credentials or anything like that. I'm logged in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm good to go. You can go to my area now. I don't want to um, <laughs> brag too much, but this is the help desk of real estate provided by uh, the broker lead. So we've got things like the real estate code that are is searchable. Which is awesome. To go. You can come in here you and if you have it. Absolutely. If you have a specific question, you come in here, you ask your question, and it'll take you right to the article in the real estate code of Oklahoma, and it will tell you exactly what you need to know. If you are one of the fortunate broker league members who has transaction listing coordination as part of your service, you can go into the my area portion of this, and mm -hmm. it will give you the status of uh, your, your uh, transactions in real time. Perfect. So that's kind of a fun little, that's not what we're talking about today, but it happens to be true and it happens to be <laughs> awesome. So I'm not going to apologize. And then if you do have a CRM like Sync, yeah. uh, you can also log in through there. Um, is that logging in? I don't use the other acronyms that he uses. I just say log in. You um, are, uh, yes, SWA versus the SAML versus the federalization versus the provisioning. Right. Uh, realistically, what happens is you press the button and you log in and you're in there. That's all I care about. If you want to know more about the science behind it, we can get real geeky, no doubt. But that's later. That's not this <laughs> webinar. That's you coming to me on our own time. And we'll, we're blurry. we'll geek out. Oh, throw the hand up. Hi, everybody. Woo. Okay. We're back. So some of the other broker league features that are uh, inside of this would be the broker league back office, which I know is a very cool system that we're excited to share. It will log you straight in. It will put you into whichever 
organization you belong, then you'll be able to get right into your business. So uh, you can check your transaction coordination here, any trainings that are coming up, cool webinars hosted by the two coolest cats there are. Dogs. Them too, regardless. <laughs> Regardless of the species of the animal, but we're cool. So. And again, it's about making it easy. Absolutely. We want to make it easy, organize. You guys have so much stuff that you have on your plate already. This, we just are here to help you get organized so that you can do what you like to do, which is help your clients, customers, whatever it may be. Absolutely. Or if it's the end of the day and you you're, had a full day of helping your clients and customers and you just want to unwind, with a nice game of chess you come down here unfortunately i could not convince uh everybody to make chess.com a baseline <laughs> application but uh it was one of those things that i knew that i was going to go to frequently so outside of adding apps here you may notice you type in chess you're not going to find anything even though there are over seven thousand apps they try to be more productivity minded so i went to the service itself in this case, chess.com, mm -hmm. and went to log in. And now that I've got up here, this browser plugin, when I arrive at places like that and enter my credentials, it says, oh, okay, would you, is that something you're interested in me keeping for you? And then you can come in and add it to your portal. And you need to be sure, this is a bit of a uh, cautionary tale, when you add it in, to, if you add it via this plugin, you need to make sure that it's been added to your service portal so that you can have access to it on your phone as well. So customizable, you can add as many apps or web pages that mm -hmm. you like. Um, apps are web pages. Right, chicklets. Chicklets. I really kind of like that term. Um, but it is super, super fantastic, those three little dots, mm -hmm. which can keep track of all of your passwords, your usernames, not that you have to enter them in again, but just in case you ever did want to change it, it's all there. You can remove the apps that you have added if after a while you no longer use them or don't feel that they would make you productive or any more productive. Uh, you can remove them and add whichever ones that you want. If you change CRMs, if you find something else that you like, this is a great way to keep it all in one place so that at the beginning of your day, your business day, work day, fun day, everything you have is right there. You're ready to go. You can see all of it so you don't have to worry about remembering which ones you need to open in which order. They're here. You can go through and say, I'm going to, I'm going to knock out these four tasks. Bang, bang, bang. I'm in. Um, I'm going to now open, if you're, we were talking earlier about transaction listing coordination, and there are uh, some websites that you'll need to remember. If you're a Broker League member, then you need to turn one of those in. And they if are not. Broker League has some fantastic listing and transaction coordinators that do a ton of work for you so that you don't have to. Absolutely. So. Definitely something we would recommend the service I personally utilize. And you can come here to the brokerleague.com slash contract to enter in the information that they will need to coordinate your transaction there. We also have one for listings here. And those both, uh, are, those are one of those things that you know you need it and you know the information and it's somewhere deep down in the recesses of your mind. But you can somewhere. Right, somewhere you know you can find it. You have the information <laughs> and you can access it. But wouldn't it just be so much easier if you could go into one place and log in and be there and have it instantly going on? I think so, and that's why I use this site. So you can see here, I've added a few apps that are not in the baseline. We've got way over 20 here. Let's talk about uh, editing your page itself. So if we pull up these, Daniel was talking about these three dots, they give you an interesting uh, access into your account. You can stop screen sharing entirely <laughs> if you wanted to. You could get kicked straight out of the meeting if you needed to. Okay, and we're back, sorry about that. I know exactly why that happened, but I won't bore you with it. I don't know if any of you have seen Guardians of the Galaxy. He totally reminds me of Rocket. So if he, if you can picture Rocket, yes, the raccoon. Yes, the raccoon. <laughs> That's where his, some of his personality and his sarcasm mm -hmm. comes from. So just go with that and we'll just. Are you insinuating I'm actually a superhero raccoon or 
just yeah. I like that person a lot. You, it's humor. Ah, just just the humor. Okay, well that's fine then. So with these three dots in the corner, you can grab any of these apps and reorganize them however you like. Your chiclets they can be in whatever order you like. So I know that I like to have these Berkeley League services up at the top, my MLSs, so that I can get straight into the things that I need to get my inbox by Gmail, my transaction desk. Let's just jump into here <laughs> and look and see if they, it's logging in, redirecting, pre-flight check. This is now, so now we're inside that application and it's doing its thing to make sure that we are good to go. It's got, this is uh, unrelated to the service portal. Unfortunately, I'd like to make this all about the service portal, but I, I am at the mercy of the internet in this specific case. Let's pull this over here, it's a little in the way, and I'm long straight in. Sorry, we've got the, uh, the internet is running a little slowly. I think somebody's putting on a webinar somewhere in the building. <laughs> Oh, that's that's that's, that's right. Oops. Oh man! Danielle got too excited. The, think, the camera couldn't handle us right now. I think it's because I'm Italian. I really, I try really hard not to talk with my hands. So it's sometimes I get. I don't try very hard at all not to talk with my hands. I have to do it in order to get my point across. So we've got these three oh. buttons here pulled up for any of these. If I had needed to see my password to make sure that it was the one that I thought it was. Or if I, so the first time you log into an app, when you arrive for that first time, you're gonna click on it and it's gonna say, okay, what's your username and what's your password? And you'll just open it up, give it the information, click it, and it's gonna send you on your way. If you're like me, and the first time you enter username and password, regardless of where you're going, you get it wrong. No shame in my game, it happens. It just happened six times when we were setting this up. <laughs> I'm very aware of my limitations. You get into it and you say, this is my password, make it so. And it goes and it says, they say, this is not your password. You can come here to these three dots and click this update credentials button. And it will give you the username. It doesn't say the password out loud because it's all about your privacy. And then you can update it with whatever password you want to try next. If you're like me, you've got six or seven different options that you're going to have to run through until one of them works. And then you don't remember which one you put in last time, but you know it's one of those. So it's, it's fine. Good. And we don't keep any of your passwords. We have no idea what they are. We have no access to them. So if you do email info at the broker league and say, hey, what's my password for this? To this, any of your chicklets. We have no idea. We don't know. We can't help. If you want to <laughs> reset your password to your service portal itself, that is something we can help you with. We don't have access to that password either, unfortunately. So, so we can't just say, oh, it's XYZ123. Um, we will just need to go in and we can send you a password reset. If you arrive at an application Danielle was talking about earlier, you find out it's not making you as productive as you'd hoped, it's more distraction than helpful, and it's one that you added, you can come to these three dots here, scroll down, and it's got your, in, under your general options, it's got to remove app here. You just take this right out of there. Another really key feature, something that I really enjoy about this, is the opportunity to auto launch so you can go into general and you can choose launch this app when i sign in so as soon as you sign in it's a little it's running a little bit behind unfortunately but um if there are things that you do so i set myself reminders uh daily reminders on follow-up calls to make leads to contact and uh, follow-ups that i need to make uh inside my crm so I know that if I'm getting up to do these uh, real estate business type things, that's something very professional for sure. You believe that I am a real estate professional. I log into this service portal and it launches the apps that, I, that I'm going to use at the beginning of my day. And then as soon as I close them out, I know I can either go back and set more reminders because I'm or uh, once I'm closed, I'm finished. I can move on to the things that I, that I want to get done. It, it allows me to, I think we all have things in our business that we know are productive things that we need to do. And if we did them yes. more often, we would be benefited by they're that. You're forefront every day when you log yeah. into your computer. But yeah. there are also some of the more difficult things to accomplish regularly. So if you can build in a system for yourself to where you get in and it starts in month for you, it's 
you have to make a conscientious decision to shut it down and say, no, not today. I'll, I'll be productive at a different time. So we've got these different apps all loaded in, different CRMs. I know people, some people use Dot Loop, some people have their transaction desk, some people are on Lion Desk, Skyslope. We've added them all in here for your convenience. You don't have to use all of these apps. They're added for you. You don't have to use even but two of the apps. I mean, they're they're here. It's designed for you as your single sign-on solution. It's not about to organize you. Yeah, it's not about a blanket situation that helps everybody all the time. It's about <laughs> taking it and making it your own so that it's something you want to use and can utilize for your own business. And if there are things, there are apps that you have access to that you don't think you're going to use. This is all about you. You can make yourself a section and call it something like things I don't intend to use. <laughs> Save that. And you can just grab them and pull them straight down. I'll grab chess.com so as not to hurt anybody's feelings. It. Put it right in there and then you close that out and you never have to open that section again. It will arrive here so that you know where it is and you can organize your sections just by pulling on them here. But once it's closed out, you don't have to look at the chiclet. You don't have to say, oh, man, why is that still here? You can make it easier on yourself to organize your things in real time. And then, of course, if you're not using this section, you can just get rid of it. And then if you are a vendor and you want to be part of all of the chiclets or have your app um, here, we definitely would love to hear from you because again, if there is any way, shape or form that you can help out real estate professionals, we would love to be able to showcase your business and things that would obviously help organize and help out our real estate agents um, or professionals, real estate professionals, not just Absolutely. agents. It doesn't have to be an agent. It can be anybody involved. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be a real estate person. This service portal works over We've the entire internet. Absolutely. Yeah, photography. So, so anybody that gets on the internet, could be benefited by this. If it's something that they're interested in getting their production increased, they can. The last thing I want to show you on here before we uh, is this uh, recently used tag. <laughs> so if there's apps that you've got that you're logging into very recently, you can just turn that on here. It's not something that I use frequently just because it it uh, I open a ton of apps over the course of the day. So the, the list looks quite <laughs> different. But if you're somebody that finds yourself opening apps and then what, where was that? It's in this list somewhere. Just have your recently used on under preferences there. And it can help you out. And then I think, Danielle, that That's it. wraps it up so for this portion if we want to. If you are not a broker lead member and would like to be, we definitely have the link. I don't know which hand to use. Nailed it. Woo! There we go. I'm getting better. Um, Our broker League affiliate member is a big conglomeration, a cooperative group of brokers that are working together to create a real estate industry that I think we all want to work in. So. Right. We want to be helpful to everyone. So, and then if you are a broker and you have multiple agents, we definitely want to um, sit down and talk with you. We do have special pricing for our and brokers or offices and vendors. that have more than yes. just your Anybody that works in the industry, agents. we really just want, if you guys but, have any ideas, and, and, and vendors. Help. Anybody, yes. anybody that works in the more resources, we would love to hear from you at info at the broker mm -hmm. or you can go to the web link. <laughs> Twice in one <laughs> webinar. We are crushing it today. So thank you so much for jumping on. I appreciate seeing all of your faces. And if you guys have any more questions, comments, or concerns, we will be back on tomorrow at 10 and Thursday at 11. That is true. <laughs> and also you can reach us at any time info at thebrokerleague.com. You can get some more information here at thebrokerleague.com slash membership, or you can go to blserviceportal.com to get a descriptive video of all the different services that we're rolling out. So thank you all so much. We really appreciate your time. And, have a great uh, afternoon. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>